Welcome. In this tutorial, we will show you how to control video playback using the jump to time trigger in Articulate Storyline 360. Let's get started. First, open Articulate Storyline 360 and create a new project. Next, click on the slide in the new project. Next, go to the ribbon at the top of the screen. Click on Insert, then select Video. From the drop down list, choose Video from File. A dialog box will appear. Browse your computer to find the video you want to use. Then click Open. Your video is now added to the slide. Now, let's create two buttons one for backward and one for forward. These buttons will allow us to jump back or forward in the video timeline. Add the forward button trigger to make the forward button work. Click Create a new trigger. Select the action and choose Jump to Time, Q point as the action. Choose a time, select Forward Backward, and enter a time. In this example, we have added plus 5 seconds to move the video 5 seconds forward. Decide when the trigger fires. Set this trigger to run when the user clicks the forward button. Play or pause the timeline, options check the box for play timeline if you want the video to continue playing. Click OK. Add the backward button trigger to make the backward button work. Click create a new trigger. Select the action and choose jump to time cue point as the action. Choose a time. Select forward backward and enter a time. In this example, we have added minus 5 seconds to rewind the video 5 seconds backward. Decide when the trigger fires. Set this trigger to run when the user clicks the backward button. Play or pause the timeline, options check the box for play timeline if you want the video to continue playing. Click OK. Click Preview to check your slide. Click the forward button, and the video jumps forward by 5 seconds. Click the backward button, and the video rewinds by 5 seconds. Thank you for watching the video.